Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today I have a beauty haul for you. I did pick up some stuff from Morphe. Uh, I placed an order with Sephora.com and I placed an order with Ulta.com. So a lot of online shopping lately, but um, a couple things I was running out of. So I needed to stock up on that. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to stop babbling with this intro and just get into it. So I'm going to start off with the online order that I placed with Morphe. So um, if you have haven't seen uh, my first look at the new Jaclyn Hill face palette. I will link that in, up in the cards. But I did go ahead and pick that up, and I do have a little bit of it on my eyes today. But uh, yeah, this is what the palette looks like if you haven't seen it. And I do like this. Um, but if you want to hear my overall thoughts on it and just kind of a mini review, uh, check out the video that I did uh, down below or up in the cards. But yeah, that's the first thing that I got from Morphe and then I did pick up some brushes because I did I do like their brushes and I just wanted to pick up a few more since I was getting that palette I figured why not so I did pick up the M438 brush I picked up the M510 brush I picked up the M149 another one of my M433. This is great for like blending on shadow and uh, I use mine every day so I figured I would pick up a backup one because like I said I use mine all the time and it gets dirty really quickly. And then I did pick up the M441 brush, another blending brush which I thought you know you can never have too many blending brushes. But yeah that's everything that I picked up from Morphe.com. Now on to the one and only thing that I purchased from Sephora.com. So I did go ahead and pick up the Naked Heat palette from Urban Decay and I am wearing that mainly on my eyes today and I absolutely love this palette. This is by far my favorite Naked palette that they have ever created, if not my favorite Urban Decay palette that they ever created. This is stunning. I love all of the warm tone eyeshadows. As I mentioned, I am wearing it on my eye today. This is just the perfect palette. If you guys want to see a review on this palette or any tutorials, please let me know down below and I will gladly do them for you. But oh my gosh, I love this palette and I'm so happy that I picked it up. Now moving on to the products that I purchased from Ulta. Um, the first thing I needed another setting spray because mine was running low and so I just went with my good old Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. I believe this is the only like setting spray I've ever tried but I like it so I just continued to repurchase it and I'm really happy that I have that again. And then, this I've never tried before, but I did want to pick this up because the uh, Benefit Gimme Brow is expensive, and to be completely honest, I liked it, but I felt like I went through it pretty quickly, and um, Benefit does test on animals, and I'm not completely cruelty-free or anything, but I just want to kind of make an effort to maybe not purchase as many products that test on animals if possible, but anyways, I did pick up the Essence uh, Make Me Brow, and this is in the shade number number three soft brownie brows and I actually haven't even opened this yet so we will see um I want to see what this looks like okay so it is kind of similar to the gimme brow the uh, wand is um a little bit bigger but I think it'll be fine because I do have thick brows to begin with so I think you know it'll be a-okay um it does look a little bit light for me this if I don't um you know it was only like three dollars so not too big of a loss I don't think but we will see if I like it and if I do I will continue to repurchase that and then the last and final thing that I purchased which I am so excited about this I swatched this in Ulta the other day and I knew immediately that I needed it and that's the Anastasia Aurora Glow Kit I'm wearing it as my highlight today and I love Anastasia products every product that she comes out with I fall in love with so this is what it looks like. It's so beautiful. Like, I love this. Um, I know I have the Kat Von D Alchemist palette, but uh, this one and that one are different, okay? So, um, I'm completely fine with this palette, and um, yeah, I love this, and I can't wait to continue to use this palette, so I'm super excited that I purchased that. And that's everything that I actually purchased from uh Ulta, Murphy, and Sephora. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh let me know if you've tried out any of these products down below and I would love to hear your thoughts. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.